Hey, let's play some Mega Mania. Now, Mega Mania, what's that, you may be asking? It is a game from Activision from 1982. I was but 10 years old when this game came out. I was enamored with the Atari 2600 at this particular point in history as a 10-year-old kid. Um, my mom's mom and dad had an Atari 2600 and we did live with them on and off for a while during this time frame. So I did get to play it, although not as often as I would have liked. That's kind of the interesting thing when you're a kid. You don't get to play video games nearly as much as you want to when you're a kid because your parents are always telling you to go outside or do something else. And then when you're an adult and you have the money to buy all the games for yourself, you still don't have time to play the games because you have to work for a living in order to pay for the games that you bought. So it is a little bit of a paradox, but we're going to play some Mega Mania anyway, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and hopefully I'm going to score pretty well. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first stage is pretty simple. The idea of the game is just to knock off all the ships before your energy runs out. Seems simple enough, and this first stage, it is. You get points based on the amount of energy you have left, and then we move on to stage two, and I think these are cookies, I think... Like, all of these are supposed to be, like, everyday objects that are trying to kill you. So if you didn't like cookies before, you're certainly not going to like them when they're trying to uh, kill you dead. The idea with stages like this is to get used to enemy movement. And then we see enemies similar to the first stage with these guys here. Pretty easy, right? We're off to a good start. Now it gets tougher. These are tires. Tires are the worst. Well, the second worst. I hate irons more, but we'll get to those in a little bit. And as you can see, the movement's a little bit different. Now we're kind of crisscrossing and going from side to side. Still fairly easy, but also pretty easy to make a mistake. Now we've got diamonds. These are a pain because they're much smaller targets to hit. And it's very easy to be moving laterally across the bottom of the screen and get hit by an incoming missile, as I just did. That's two lives lost right away. Come on. The thing about losing a life, though, when you're pretty close to finishing the stage is you can get maximum bonus points. So these are the irons I was telling you about. Irons are bad. And it's just because of the movement. I really struggle with how these move. I seem to over-adjust. Now I have to wait for the hole here. There we go. Ha! Okay, so far so good. Now killer bow ties. I'm close to an extra life, though. I am so close to an extra life. Come on. That's a pretty good finish. Now we get the crazy dice. Notice how they're animated. They almost look like popcorn, but I'm pretty sure they're dice. Come on. Oh, that's not good. Bam. Bam. All right, we're off to a good start. The way I judge success in this game, if I can get a score over 50,000, I'm happy with it. It's almost like the double dragon theory. You, know, you got 50,000 double dragons? It's the same kind of thing. Um, I think 50,000 is a pretty strong effort. Let me get some of these guys. Ah, boo. Close to an extra life, though. I'm not going to be too concerned. Not yet. Oh, boy. Ah, that's not good. Come on. I'm so close. So close. No. If I take that ship down, I've got the extra life in hand. Come on. Are you serious right now? There we go. Yoo-hoo. Missed him. There we go. 
49. Here is 50,000, so this is a success. And now come the tires, which I just am terrible at. And notice the pattern. Nope. Not gonna happen this time. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. I'm close. One left. One left. Where is he coming from? There it is. Now we've got the diamonds again. It's really easy to make mistakes here. Got a shot at 60 grand there. Ah. Uh, no sooner do I say that, I always jinx myself. No sooner do I say that than I make a mistake. And if I'm being completely honest, I'm not even paying attention to missiles here. There we go. 60 grand. I think these are more irons. Okay, so far, so decent. Ah, no! I'm dead. Oh! I should have been dead to begin with. The fact that it gave me a gasp of life there is almost like an ultimate insult. Oh, this is it. And if I just go one more enemy, I got 64,000. The 64,000 point question. There we go. For those who might be wondering, uh, rapid fire, you just have to hold the, the button down, so you don't have to worry about tapping the button at, like, insane speeds. Alright. Can I get to 70,000 and get an extra life? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I have to finish the stage. I don't think I'm going to have enough here. Oh, yes, I do. All right, let's see what this stage brings. Oh, 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 boy. <laughs> and that's it. So 74,250 points by playing Mega Mania for the Atari 2600. Again, from 1982. It is a lot of fun to play. It is available via Activision Anthology if you have a PlayStation 2. You can also get Activision Anthology for your Game Boy Advance, and there's a decent version of the game there as well. Hope you enjoyed this very short video. Again, still trying to get used to recording some gameplay and trying to get my volume right. Look forward to more of these videos in the future, but until the next time, my friends, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you later.